Can you see me? No, you can't. Still can't see me. Hi, y'all. It's your girl. She's doing a real pillow talk with her pillow. Uh, <clears throat> I can't get comfortable. <laughs> I just can't. It's so damn hot. Yes, we are. Uh, we are in a heat wave, and it's been so hot lately that even the air conditioners in the house can't keep up. We've had temperatures with the heat index up to 110. No, the highest is 115. Oh, it's been up to 115? Okay. Yep. So, you know, that, that basically means, you know, like 90, 95 degrees, and then the heat index takes you up. I mean, it's been unbearable. I mean... I've had a headache since Saturday. We were at a barbecue Saturday, and it was like 110 Saturday, and 115, something like that. Look on the... Pa uh, look on my channel you'll see the the video it was my birthday a lot of people just stayed outside it, because why it was too damn hot to be inside too <clears throat> and I've had a, we came home got into the pool and instantly bam got a headache and I haven't been able to get rid of it and I've been miserable Yeah, I'll back that one up. Um, did I have a happy birthday? Oh, no, it was your birthday. <laughs> Because I am. Because you look like a monkey when you do it. <laughs> he looks like a monkey, y'all. <laughs> well, I'll be honest with you. <clears throat> Went to a friend's house. <coughs> it's his birthday, his daughter's birthday. They're all in August. It happens to, they were happen to be doing the barbecue on her birthday. And... I enjoyed that a lot. Got surprised what they birthday cake. Our friend's wife asked me to get a picture because they have a friend who does cakes. Um, a picture that she really, you know, and I gave her a picture. And do you know how hard it is to keep a secret from this lady? Really hard. And I had to do that for about a month. Really hard. And I got threatened at the party because she was shown the cake. It was beautiful. Still is. It's had, it only has two slices out of it as far as I know. And it's gorgeous still. And... It's a Wiccan pentacle with all of the elements surrounding it. Basically the elemental wheel. Love it, love it, love it. But yeah, I mean, I, I think she had a good time. I did. So, hopefully, she, you know, she, she, she'll say, yes, I had a good birthday. It wasn't the birthday she wanted, but I'm trying to get comfortable. It's not working. What? You're cold. No, I'm not. See, he had to rub his hand. He had to wipe his hand clean. This is all ick. 
I swear I gotta take a shower two to three times a day because I'm so sweaty and icky and sticky and ugh. Self esteem. <laughs> Look, I try to make light of things, you know, make things flow. That's all. That's all. That's all. Try to make them flow. <coughs> I'm just, um, tired. Tired. Slightly miserable. Slightly. Okay, a lot miserable. And um, she was going, do I do a pillow talk or not? Well, I'm thinking to myself, well, pillow talk should have been yesterday. But we um, had the barbecue on Saturday. Then my mother wanted to take her out because she wanted to actually do something for her on her birthday. But, you know, we already had this thing going on. so And uh, so she took her out yesterday. You know, and... Uh, I'm like, well, if you want to do a pillow talk, do a pillow talk. But she's like, I don't feel so good. It, it's hot. It's icky. It's this. It's that. If you don't want to do a pillow talk, don't do a pillow talk. If you want to do one, do one. I'm sure there's a lot of YouTubers out there when they don't feel good. They don't. Still feel. No, there's a lot that don't. <coughs> like, um, I know Graveyard Girl, when she's sick... Unless it, it, it in, I mean, if it's something serious, she won't film. I still have to do a, an Ipsy unboxing. It was supposed to get here on the 12th. I did track it. It was supposed to get here on the 12th. It never got here. So, looked on the 13th. Wasn't here. Wasn't here. Looked on the 14th, which was a Sunday. We don't get mail on Sundays, but. There was a envelope about my son's trust fund in there. No, I can't touch it. I wanted it like that. Not my money. So therefore, I'm still poor. Po. Po. So, I'm hoping, cross my fingers, that the Ipsy bag came today. Um, or comes today? Yeah. I'm hoping to do an unbagging. And tomorrow is Pinch Me Tuesday. Tuesday for Pinch Me. So, oh, uh, I gotta be up early for Sample Tuesday so I can beat all these chicks to the punch. Especially this one. It wasn't Buddha. Um, Go check mail. Please. Mommy's looking for her um, Ipsy. Okay. There's a couple other things that I'm thinking of subscribing to only if I have the money. One is I might drop Ipsy for. Whoa. Beauty cut. I have no idea. She looks at all these things and I don't know, so. BeautyCon boxes come four times a year. They're, they're quarterly seasonal, if you will. For the year, it's $100. But if you get a get bill quarterly, it's 30 basically. So you pay more to get it once every four months. But if you get charged annually, you save money. And instead of trial sizes, you get full sizes. Sometimes jumbos. But there's a drawback. That's quarterly. Nothing. Yeah, I figured it's a little too early for the mail guy, but. But they, again, there's a drawback to that. It's a quarterly box. It comes with more, but it's a quarterly box. It sees every month. Move! So. And if I decide not to go with Beauty Hun, I may go with another like a subscription box like Birchbox or Sephora Play. But from what I've seen, 
you're in the camera, move. If you want to be in the video, you come here and you lay down. Shush, lay down. I be in the video. Lay down. <laughs> lay down. Lay down. Oh, stop being a bug. This is me. Uh. You've seen her in other videos. She's a pain. <laughs> That's move. Um. Actually, her name is Mouth. Yeah, but we call her Move Mouth, Meowth. We call her the cat. We call her the on. mouth most of all because she doesn't know how to shut the hell up. She's like that cat from Pokemon that works with um. No, she ain't. Yes, she no, is. No, she's not. He Especially when she looks like something out of Mario Brothers. Wow. <laughs> now, let me tell you. Don't lie. And actually, to be, no, I mean, she's got it right because it, it, the mouth in Pokemon mm -hmm. don't, don't shut like up. Her. Yeah, but at the... And that one don't shut up. Don't look like her either. Yeah, I didn't say look like, but... I don't gotta look like her. Um... But if I were to do another subscription box, I'm going to let Doug pick one. He wants um, <laughs> Nerd Box. Um, he still hasn't decided on which box he wants. Or not Nerd Box. I keep calling it Nerd Box. It's Nerd Blocks. And, but he hasn't decided on which one he wants. They got a pet block. Um, For animals and everything. So... But I want to do one, either Birchbox <clears throat> or Sephora Play. Problem with Sephora Play, I've, I've heard so many bad things about it that people don't get. Very, uh, you know, stuff that they would use. They're not impressed with it. Uh, they think that Birchbox and Ipsy are better. Wait a minute, weren't you just talking? You were just talking about Birchbox, weren't you? No, I was talking about BeautyCon. Oh. Do BeautyCon. I think you get a little bit more in you do get You do get more in BeautyCon, but it's uh, more expensive. Nah. And you get full sizes and. Nah. Hey! Move! I've done research on BeautyCon. Excuse me, y'all. <laughs> I've done research on BeautyCon, and don't get me wrong, I like it. But there's the price. $10 a month is much more economical yeah. than $100 a year. Now, $100 a year is econom economical, but $30 every four months, that's like paying, uh, me paying for my win. Yeah, I use when. I'll show you that at a later date. Once I tweak the box a little bit more, you know, there's stuff from when that I want there's to put stuff. into my box, and there's stuff in the box now that I want to take out. So I want to tweak it. I want to keep tweaking it until I get this. it just right. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, there's subscription boxes that I'm thinking about doing i want dougie to have one of his own so he can start doing his own unboxings and stuff like that because dougie deserves it Mwah. yes he does and what i deserve is a big bag with a pound of 20 sliced thin well seasoned help y'all um what else so let me know if it you know who I wish did a subscription box because they do do some uh, makeups and stuff and I, me myself I'd subscribe in a heartbeat Bath and Body Works uh, I wish they did a subscription box I Bath would and subscribe bo oh my to god yeah, I, I, I would Scent of the month? Hell yeah. I like my pretties. 
I need soaps. Aaron's that's still one of that's one of the things that I got for my birthday. I got uh, Be Joyful. And my stepdaughter Blanca, she also gave me uh, Hawaii Pink because she didn't like the smell of that. You should see see her stash so, she has on the wall of the shower. Those are almost most of them are almost empty. So when I get like two hundred dollars to myself, I gotta go to Bath and Body Works. <laughs> And and just <laughs> buy out their wall. Here's the thing. She goes by herself one, two, two. I the, take the family. The girls go with her. You Five. take me. Five. I take him. Five. Because he likes the uh, he what likes the body washes also. They don't trigger migraine on him. He can use them for his hair, his beard. But there's also, there's only certain scents that I like, so, you know. We experiment their, with their him. man Their man's, their, their men's collection is not very big. No. Like, literally, he their likes... men's collection may be a total of, like. Half a wall. No, not even half the wall. It's a full wall. wall. It's, a really? full, it's a full wall, but it's, ve it's a very small section. It's. But like, he likes the. If you ever been in the Bath and Body Works. This is how very. Their walls are. Maybe small. two small. foot wide, but he he and they've got three of them. And that's about it. He liked in their original men's line. He loved he loved oak, and he absolutely adored it. Then he liked tw the men's the men's line Twilight Woods. It was close to oak, but you know. And then they got uh, then they did <laughs> white. Uh, what was it? White water. An alpine. Alpine, which is like, a, smells like a tree. And white water, which is, you know, just a so fresh type meow. sense. Mouth. Wait a minute, hold it, hold it. Stop petting her for a second. And three, two, two one. one. Nope, she didn't do it. Stop no. petting her. Get off of her. Wow. There it is. That's the. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, um. That's the goal. That's the goal. Where? Out the road. Why? He he goes. He, he's gonna go blow it up. No. No. <laughs> he gotta go pee, y'all. <laughs> Two cup. Two cups of coffee. It's finally making its rounds. The way speaking he's of, speaking of coffee. No, get Connor to do it. Um, well, Connor got the first two cups. I did get, like I said, I got Be Joyful and um, Blanca also gave me the Hawaii Pink that she, because she said she didn't like it so much, so. Um, I got those. So, um, what else? Um, and the birthday cake. That's about all I got for my birthday. So, um, but like I said, uh, there may be some more unboxings coming in the future. Not just pinch me. <clears throat> <coughs> but there will be more unboxings. Um, Ipsy. I don't know yet. I might add BeautyCon on to it because don't get me wrong. Y'all may not see me with makeup on a lot. But this girl likes to wear her makeup. Question. Can I show my new sneakers? Self esteem. See, we should have done an unbox it on these. Flip it, untagging. Should be a new thing. Bye. Untagging. Bye. Um.
I did want to get some other stuff for my birthday. Stuff that I wanted and I didn't get them. You know. I'm not gonna lie, I got a little depressed because I didn't get anything from the kids. Now, mind you, we're going through, we went through uh, financial situations where, you know, we don't have money at all. We don't. So, yes, that's my mess. Welcome to my mess. Matter of factly, that's the body spray for the Hawaii pink. But anyway, um, uh, do I get upset? Did I get a little upset? Yeah, because, you know, the things that I openly pointed out that I wanted, I didn't get. The things that I asked for and said that I wanted, I didn't get. I didn't even get so much as a holy birthday card for my kids. And that hurt even the worse. I mean, I understand financial situations. You can't really buy anything. But being able to get a homemade birthday card from my kids always warms my heart. And I didn't get that. So, hurt feelings a little. Um, but other than that, I had a good birthday. I really did. I'm not going to lie. Um, but as far as unboxings are concerned, please, guys, let me know. Do you want me to do Beautycon, Birchbox, you know, Sephora Play? I'm not really into Sephora Play, so let's take that one off the table. Beautycon or Birchbox? Do I add them onto Ipsy, or do I keep, uh, or do I get rid of Ipsy and just go with the other two? I don't know. Um, I already figured I'll, I'll do a couple more Melaleuca unboxings. Because I'm going to be changing that up over the next few months. Um, next month I'll do another Melaleuca unboxing. Uh, I want to do Nerd Block for Dougie. Um, if you watch their mm. Staples window shopping uh, adventure. You'll know that we looked at everything for an up and coming YouTubers such as Yeti mics and other webcams. And actually, I was shocked when I saw a Yeti mic and a Staples. Oh. Because, no, well, my understanding is is a Yeti mic is a not necessarily a high end, but an up an upper end microphone. So that's something I would expect to see in like. A Best Buy or something like that, you know, something that deals with strictly but electronics. It, it, but but guess what? The price was around what everybody's told me that about a, about a buck fifty. So, who knows? Save up some money, and I'll be doing less plays and stuff, or interviews. We'll see. Uh, th since it's USB, you could find a way to. I mean, I know. Um, PS4 and Xbox, you can do Let's Play with them because um, I know Blankies does know. it. With, no, I, she, well, she I does already it. noticed though. Well, she does it with her four, mm -hmm. and, and other people do it with their one. Right, but so I don't. I know with the four, you can automatically upload to YouTube. The one you need to do something else with, but you know, it's just you know. But with us, it's a matter of getting the funds. And getting the funds is not easy when you're on fixed income and stuff like that. 
Um, but I want to do nerd block for Dougie because Dougie deserves something. He deserves more camera time. <laughs> um, Actually, I think what I need, what, what I deserve is to find a way to, I don't know. I really don't. Actually, you know what I deserve? I deserve to stop being screwed over by the United States government. Here, I gotta go to the bathroom now, mister. Now, I can rant and rave. Me and the government don't get along. I shouldn't say we don't get along, it's... We don't um, see. Along. No, we don't see eye to eye on things. You know, serve my country. Food bar from you know the floor up, and fought for years to get my benefits through the VA. And, got a, finally got approved and then they want to say oh in a, in, in a couple of years we're going to reevaluate you and see if you know you're still full bar and I don't know about you but I'm you know if you're messed up both physically and mentally you can kind of take care of the physical part and maybe get a little bit better. Um, but I've actually, you know, I'm, I'm, my body is weird. I've gone through physical therapy, and it didn't help. It didn't help. It actually made things worse. Um, I went into physical therapy, being able to do so much movement and stuff like that. And after about two weeks of physical therapy. His shoulders started hurting worse. His hips started hurting worse. His knees started hurting worse. Yeah, the movement that I had when I mo went in was actually decreased. So, I'm the type of person where physical therapy can help. And can't. And can't. You know, it depends on the therapy. Um, now, this was... I was doing aqua therapy for, you know, my, my uh, knees and stuff like that. And it didn't help at all. Um... And, you know, I've had, I had friends who were in the service with me. And they, um, they were deployed to Afghanistan. I was not because, um. We were having a baby and I was bedridden. No, no, that was not Afghanistan. It was Iraq. That was, yeah, that was, but. They were they were deployed to Afghanistan because you know at the time I was out and they got deployed and I happened to run in, into one of my friends at therapy and he told me plain and simple you know that yeah he's getting no hit. you're they weren't deployed to Afghanistan they were deployed to Iraq and that's where the unit got hit so anyway if you're talking about meeting laws at at um, AFC. They, that was the Iraqi unit. That was an Afghanistan unit because in Afghanistan, you were already out. Anyway. At Iraq, it was when I was pregnant. And that's when they got hit by anyway. RPG. Anyway, ran, ran into him. Um, he got his VA disability in a heartbeat. And Social Security. And Social Security. And... Um, he suggest you know, he told me that I should apply myself, so I did. And of course, Social Security denied me the first time, you know. Took, the, took him 13 years to get his VA benefits because they didn't want to believe that there was anything wrong with him. And then, um... And this is why I hate getting cut off, because my, my train of thought... Gerbil jumped on the tracks and the train is Laws off off the rails. You, uh, Laws, no. Laws told you to get the uh, go for your social security benefits. 
Yeah, yeah. So, uh, you know, and I told him I already applied. I got denied, and I know for a fact you're going to get, you know, because of my age bracket, I'm going to get denied the first time. You know, um, and, you know, appealed it. Went in front of a judge. And in my opinion, you know, the judge looked at me and, you know, asked me, you know, what we're doing for income. And when I told the judge I'm disabled, she gave me a look. And did, again, this is my opinion. Um, but she looked at me like, you're not disabled till I tell you you're disabled. And then commence to go, you know, at, you know, have the job specialist there about what kind of jobs I can and can't do. And they said I could, there was like four jobs that I could do. And one of the jobs, well, I, you know what, I don't remember what most of the jobs were nowadays, but. <coughs> one was an optic lens maker. Whatever. And my thing is, is. You know, but they went. She went on about her thing, and she goes, "Just because you don't like being in crowds," and I corrected her right on the spot. Judge or no judge, you're not going to tell me that. For me, my PTSD is a I don't like being in crowds. No, it's not. I don't like being in crowds. I detest being in crowds. I told the judge straight up, "No, it's not that I don't like them." I said, "I go out food shopping with the family, and I got to have one of my kids stand behind me." You know, or or the wife. I gotta have somebody behind me because if somebody walks up behind me, I'm gonna knock them out and then ask them what they were doing there. And then I'm the one that catches an assault charge because somebody walked up behind me and I knocked them out. And then I'm gonna go in front of a judge and be like, well, I have PTSD and they walked up behind me. Is that an excuse? The judge isn't going to say say yes it is, but most judges are going to understand PTSD. You don't walk up or sneak up behind somebody with PTSD. Why? They're going to react before they they do anything. My kids have learned. They get me a cup of coffee. They come up and you know bring it into my room. You know, being you know being nice, they'll go make a pot of coffee before you know to wake me up and. and most of my kids have learned you say something from the bedroom door or the foot of the bed before you know you come any closer my stepson still hasn't learned that one many a times he's been on my side of the bed putting my coffee on my end table and he goes pop coffee and I roll over and I want to slug him autism but you know it's so you know that's that's that. I mean, as far as I'm concerned, Social Security. Look. Highway robbery. It is. I mean, no offense. If, you know, I'm a disabled vet. And if another government agency turns around and goes, you're disabled, Social Security should also turn around and say, you're disabled. There shouldn't be the whole... Well, you know, then, 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 no. I mean, there are certain percentages through the VA, and, you know, they do, you know, they use percentages, 5%, 10%, 15 20 da 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 you know what I mean? Um, all the way up to 100%. Once you hit about 80% with the VA, you can be classified as unemployable. In, unemployable and ineligible to work. Um, the last time I checked, if you have PTSD, the VA does a, you know, basically at that point, depending on your level of PTSD, it's, I'm not going to say it's an automatic, but it's considered automatic that the, you know, look, with PTSD, depending on how stable or unstable you are and what your triggers are, um, they will say that you cannot, that you're not eligible to work. Um, and that's because they don't want, uh, in this case, 
me doing something, feeling as though I'm defending myself and hurting someone. Basically doing something stupid. Basically. And it's not that it would be stupid, it's just, it's a reaction. And they rather say that <coughs> I'm ineligible to work and help me with increased benefits, but... You know, if he's not eligible to work, if he can't work because he's around crowds, then he can't bring in an income. You can't bring in an income, you're homeless. Exactly. Basically, in this economy, if you don't have an income, you're homeless. And Social Security just, you know, Social Security wants to fight everybody. They don't want to pay anybody. You know, I mean, my mother had a fight to get hers, and she's of. Retirement, retirement age. And they fought her. You know, oh, you're 65? You're not eligible yet. You got to be 67. My mother's had multiple surgeries on different parts of her body. Just recently had shoulder surgery and a shoulder replacement. And now it's like, okay, I can't do the work that I used to do. You know, and that's my thing. They're telling me that I can do work that I'm qualified to do. But some of this work I've never even heard of, you know. He don't know how to make lenses for glasses, but yet they say he's qualified for it? Yeah, I mean, no offense. As uh, far as I knew, you had to go to school for that. I mean, for me, personally, I spent so many years in the military. And yes, I've had jobs outside the military doing different things. I worked. I've worked in a machine shop, a clearinghouse, uh, a clearinghouse for the stock market, um, pharmaceutical packing, uh, a packing company where we did pharmaceuticals, um, security. I've done security work, and most leather of the working, huh? Don't forget T and D leather working. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, when I was a kid, I, I worked for Tandy Leather Company. For those of you that remember that, or can even remember that company. Now, mind you, these are jobs that he held for years. They weren't six-month jobs to him. He held them for more than two to three years. And for some... The clearinghouse... They let him go because of a, uh, because of one of his disabilities through the VA, and they knew it, and they got sued by other people. Um, Quick, in a nutshell, I got deployed to Germany for uh, Iraqi freedom or something like that, and um, when I came back, I while I was over there, I was having problems with my migraines. And when I came back... It was Enduring Freedom. Enduring Freedom, Iraqi Freedom, one of those two operations. Um, I, you know, I was having problems with my migraines while I was there. Got treatment. Um, Found that they, that they were actually debilitating. And, you know, got, you know, got take, you know, while I was there, I got taken care of. When I came home, I had so much time after being deployed to go back to work. Which is a window, I think, of 90 days. A month at the time. It was a month. No, it was, I think it was like 90 days. After I got deployed. <laughs> Whatever the case may be. I, you know, while I was home, I, you know, tried to reacclimate. Being back in the civilian world. Um, very hard. Uh, yeah, it's very hard. Especially for uh, National Guard and Reservists. And especially after what the, these guys went through over in Germany. So you Ugh. you have your issues, you know, you have to try and reacclimate. And um I was also trying to, you know, get medical attention for my migraines and stuff like that. Well, they felt when I w finally went back to work, they felt as though I was acting stranger or not what I was when they, I left. They thought that he was on drugs, y'all. And yes, I was on prescription medication. And he showed them the prescription bottles and they, from the VA. And they still wanted me to go get drug tested. So he took the drug test and he showed them the prescription bottles. And right as they did the urinalysis. And what happened? They matched everything up to his, 
prescriptions and they still fired him saying that he well, was they using. Didn't, they didn't fire me. They turned around and gave me an option to resign or be fired. And it was under the basis of I was in violation of their drug policy. All over prescription drugs. Yes. Drugs, saying that he was using migraine medication. So anyway, that was in a nutshell. So, but yeah, she's right. Most of my jobs have been minimum a year. I've known you. Yeah, the, the security job was. A I mean, year. a minimum. Minimum. I Actually, if I a year and a half. If I get a job, minimums a year. Um, and if I'm leaving a, a job after, you know, because after a year, it's usually because of things like, um, personal conflict, um, or false allegation. Yeah. And I'm the type of person, look, I'm not working for you if you're going to accuse me of doing something. Uh, and I, I leave on my own. You know, I don't wait for you to say, you know what, I'm tired of you, you're fired. No, I walk out. Uh, you know what, I'm done. You know? And that's me, you know? I'll, I'll work at trying to resolve the issue with you, but if you're hell-bent on saying yeah, whatever, then I, you know, I'm the type of person, I'll give you two-week notice. But if you push my buttons that bad... I'll walk out on you right then and there. And I've actually, you know, on the security job, I damn near did it one night. And all oh, I... That was a stupid situation all in itself. And what... Basically, it was friends. This whole company were, were friends of ours. And somebody said something stupid pertaining to Dougie and said military. And... That set him off. And, I, and looking back on it, all of our friends who used to work for this company all said the same thing. It shouldn't have been said, including the person who said it. But what I think is funny is the, the situation that made me quit this job was we had one person who wasn't doing their job. Yeah. And I talked to the person numerous of times a couple of times and they still weren't doing their job so they were like well you're military handle it yourself well I did so I'm I, you know look if I can't if I can't correct the problem myself Do even what? in the military you go to your next you, you go to your next level you go to your commanding officer hello basically and that's what he did he went to his supervisor and told the supervisor and the supervisor said, said this, okay. or not, well, one of at the time. Yeah. And I'm like, are you for real? Okay. So I'm not going to name names because it's in the past. It's done. Um, this person has apologized profusely for what happened and it's water under the bridge now. So okay. we're all family. <clears throat> wow. We love him. I still beat up on him. <laughs> um, but we all... We're family. Like I said. Bunch of rednecks. It's over. It's done. It's finished. Mm -hmm. And... I don't appreciate... Mm -hmm. A lot of my family believes that... Uh, uh -huh. these, these vets deserve a lot more than what they're doing. For them. And... To say that, oh God, you put it up a bit here. To say that, um, you're a, a family okay. of five makes too much money okay. when right. they desperately need right. help. Come on. I have officially been labeled. Labeled what? An asshole? You've had that. Happen? I've had that label for decades. <laughs> um, no, my. Oh, you're you're cold. My mother 
is self-esteem. A knife, a nice, nice enough person. Um, she bought, she got herself a Met Alert bracelet or whatever because uh, she has her own, you know, fall issues and stuff like that. She got one for Connor. Who is art autistic? Who, and that's autistic. All, I was about to say artistic. <laughs> Basically, he has a dog tag that says that he's autistic. Okay. Well, she got a, an email alert or whatever saying that her membership or whatever you want to call it, subscription to it, is due. Um, she got the, the tag for Connor, so she pays for that. And... Um, so it's like that was also due and she well she went to go take care of the payment you know and, and she ordered one for Dougie and they're having a big sale going on and she called me up and asked me if I would like one I'm like I don't care you know and the only reason she did that is because she goes I know sometimes you go out by yourself and I'm like mm, okay, not very well, often not very often if I'm going out by myself it's because I'm going to pick up Blanca from work I'm walking out to the car I'm driving up to her job. I sit there. She gets in. I'm not by myself. And then the only other time is when I'm driving home. So, and that's what, maybe 10 minutes in each direction that I'm by myself? Oh, I'm so, getting tired. Shit. Excuse um, me. You know. Excuse my language, y'all. So, she just, she just called me to let me know that, oh, it's <coughs> ordered. <clears throat> and that I should keep my eye out for a small package in the next 7 to 10 days. Okay. So, now I'm officially <laughs> labeled in the VA system. And medical alert. And I don't have a number. Connor has a number. My mom has a number. Mm -hmm. Mine is alphanumeric. He has letters. They actually had to change all of their things because not, they're not just in the U.S. anymore. They're in the U.S. They're in Canada. They're in Europe. So you get I need two. One. You get two. I don't got one. You get two letters to identify what country you're in, or I, you know whatever. I need one. I don't got one. I need one for my neck. My nerve damage. And my penicillin allergy. You think I'm messed up? I'm messed up. <laughs> so anyway. Enough on my, you know, I guess that's enough on my rant with the, the VA and Social Security. I just... Although I think, you know, I really think, you know, just one... If you, you know, you're in the military and you get out and you're on disability through the VA, which is... There are is certain a, things that are a must. I'm sorry. And not just money. If you're disabled through the VA, you should be able to go to Social Security, file an application, and get Social Security depending on what disability you have. I'm sorry, if you're a 100% disabled veteran... You should, instantly you should be, be able, able to, to go get... to Social Security, file your paperwork, yeah. and get it. Okay, they want to deny you because you're under a certain age? Fine. Fight but it. when you, you when you appeal it, and you go in front of the judge, and, and oh. You get attitude from the judge. That's something else, and it's rude. I'm sorry. I'll put her out on, bla on blast if I could remember this judge's name. I don't like her. She she passed judgment on him as soon as he walked through the door. And you know what I think is funny is that basically the way it was put to me was that um, when I walked in, do you want, you know, do you have a lawyer or do you want a lawyer? And I'm like, no. Can't I, afford one. And it's like, well, they have groups out there that, yeah. And every group I've talked to that since I'm a disabled veteran and I get, a dis, I get benefits from the VA... I make too much money. Really? I make too much money. I make I, I barely make enough money to support my family. Regardless of the fact, if you're you're if you're a veteran, there's things that are a must. If you're a disabled veterans, there's even more things that are a must. And 
the government should help support those veterans with those things that are a must. Home, food, clothing, basic health necessities. You know I'm sorry, there are and, veterans that are homeless on the street that shouldn't be homeless. Yep. But yet and th- again, this is my opinion, but um, I'm very adamant about this. You've got people that, you know, like here where we live, you they're tearing down apartment complexes. Here's my thing. And they're building townhomes. Here, and wait, wait, people wait. that are getting into them are people that are on HUD and stuff like that. But yet, the homeless veteran, don't can't, get nothing. They, they don't get shit. Here's the thing. Here's the thing, and this is what really pisses me off. I'm starting to get aggravated now. Here's the one thing that really... It it pisses me off. And I'm going to go back to something in our experience. Okay. My father-in-law. Both of them. John, who passed away. And Ed. Veterans. Ed lost his eye in Vietnam was one day walking to meet my mother-in-law to make sure she she got home safe because she wasn't getting home until what? Late. Late. It like was around nine, the, nine it, or ten. It was around ten thirty, eleven actually. So he was walking to the bus stop to meet her. Bunch of snot nosed kids jumped him from behind and damn near crushed his face. And for the longest time, nobody knew where he was. Here, and this is me, this is me. What we did on our part was we called hospitals and we couldn't find him. My mother-in-law found him at Einstein Hospital and The ironic part of it was just as she was getting on the bus to go home. Because she'd been waiting for him to show up at the... At at the bus stop. So she just got on a bus and went the rest of the way home. Just as she was getting on that bus to go to the house, the ambulance was pulling into the emergency room with him in it. And they jumped him over a $50 flip, a Samsung flip phone. One of those old, eh, beam me up Scotty phones. Come on now. Now, they were saying he was going to need reconstructive surgery if it wasn't for his false eye. And it is on the right eye. If it wasn't for his false eye, his orbital bone would Both have... Both orbital sockets were, were broken. But the one was being held together by his false eye. And if it wasn't for that, his orbital socket would have collapsed. So there were things they couldn't do. And they didn't want to risk taking out the eye because it was holding that together. So what they did was they left the eye in the false eye. And it helped heal that part of his face. Um, They had to set his nose. And they wanted to see if the healing would progress naturally without surgery. Thankfully it did. And it worked perfectly. He didn't have to undergo any reconstructive surgery. Thank, uh, Thank everything that is divine and holy in this world. But he came away with it, from it, scarred. Now- Not physically. No, not physically. Mentally, in my opinion. It, he came away from it with PTSD. Now- well, he already had PTSD, Wait a minute, but... wait, 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 wait. From Vietnam up until that happened, he had very minimal symptoms. 
very minimal. He held down a job perfectly fine, had gotten to the point where he was retiring and everything. This happens and the PTSD reared its ugly head badly. He was hypervigilant. He had the mood swings. Had. His mood swings aren't so bad now, but he had the mood swings. Um, he he was angry. Angry and is not the word. Ang uh, nobody can blame him for being angry because he worked hard for what he had. And even though he he even says he's not tech, uh, tech savvy, all he used that phone for was talking to people. Doug's mom and people that he needed. A couple of friends here and there. Whatever. Yeah, he needed to be in contact with, especially with Doug's mom, because he's one of those people that is a perfect gentleman. He doesn't let a lady travel by herself at night. Mm-mm. He just doesn't. So he was making sure that she got home okay. And for these kids who weren't even 15, 16 years old, how one of them was 14. <clears throat> All because they wanted a flip phone. Now, back then, this was four years ago. There was already smartphones out. This was four, almost five years ago. There was already smartphones out. There was the iPhone. There was the dro uh, Android. There was the Droid. You could have gotten a better phone. But you chose a $50 flip phone. For what? And you almost killed a man over a $50 flip phone. For what? So basically, there was a manhunt out for these kids. Basically, there was a manhunt. The um, news channels, NBC, CBS, ABC, Fox, local news, followed it like crazy. And it really worried me because my son is autistic and he's close to his grandfather. Does almost everything with his grandfather. Baseball games, lunch, just talking. They, he does a lot of things with his grandfather. So we were afraid that it would affect Connor very badly. So we tried to keep Connor out of it as best as we could. And one day Connor came downstairs and I didn't realize that I hadn't changed the channel on the cable box. And Connor turned the TV on and there was a picture of Ed and Connor flipped. Flipped out. He got scared. He started screaming. He was, uh, 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 Bebop was dead. Bebop's dead. Bebop's dead. Blah, blah, blah. It broke my heart, y'all. Broke my heart. So, after that, the local veterans groups rallied around my father-in-law. They really did. But the veterans administration didn't. Now, everything hold on. I should have muted that, but the Veterans Administration didn't. So these groups rallied around him and they, f they fought basically hard for my father-in-law's uh, benefits and he ended up getting them. But it was due to pressure from the veterans groups. Now here we are and we need help. 
granted, we're not going through what my father-in-law went through, and I will never diminish that ever. Because what he went through was hell. Mind you, they, as, as far as I know, both of these kids are now out of custody. Whether they've changed their lives or not is beyond me. I don't know. Don't know, don't care. But, but, um, <clears throat> but, I will say this. It pains me to see what Ed went through. He really, he really is a sweet man. Will give you the shirt off of his back, if need be. Loves his grandkids to death. <laughs> and a, a funny story, I'll, I'll tell it in a minute. Loves his grandkids to death. Loves his adopted grandson to death. Will give them the shirt off of his back if need be. But it pained me to see what he was going through because, you know, he didn't deserve that. He really didn't. He didn't deserve that at all. And he was the first father figure I'd had in a very long time. No, that's a fib. That's a fib. He was the second father figure I've had in a very long time. First father figure was Pop Phillips. Donna, you know who I'm talking about. I love Old Blue. And I miss him, but anyway. But the funny story... <laughs> um... I was pregnant with Jack, Jackie. It was Jackie. No, it was Cheyenne. Jackie, because it was at um, Einstein. Oh. And I gave birth to her. And I'm in the maternity ward. And they finally brought Jackie in to see me and everything. And Doug and his mom were in there. And they're all oohing and on and we're teaching Doug how to hold the baby because he's afraid he was going to break her. And you see Ed walking outside, back, uh, pacing outside the back, uh, the uh, the door. <laughs> and I f finally looked over and he's pacing. He looks into the into the room, and I said, "Hey, Grandpa, get in here." And he went, "Are you sure?" I says, "Are you their grandfather?" And he looked at me, and I said, get the hell in here and meet your granddaughter. And he came in, he came in, and he sat down, and I took the baby from, from Doug, and I put her in Ed's arms. And I'm telling you, You've never seen a child wrap a, little, a grown man around a little finger so quick. Who he fell in love with Jackie that day. Fell in love with Jackie. And I am proud to say that Ed is my grand my kid's grandfather. I really am. You met him in the Staples Hall. He doesn't say a lot. But he's a proud man. Okay. And I love him to death. Love you, Ed. Now what are you walking around doing? Self-esteem. <laughs> Measuring shit. Um, got a problem. What's that? Oh, yeah. My original plan for moving things around uh -huh. won't work. Why? Move the two. What were you going to move? 
the two end tables and the bed are about 109 inches wide. Uh -huh. It puts it right in the door. Uh -huh. And you can't open that closet. Okay. What about over there? If we put the bed over there. Can still open the closet. Yeah, could, could put everything against that wall, you know, the one against that wall, and you would still have enough room to open that. Yep. But then that means we have to put the TV over there. Okay. I uh, don't think there's enough cable to go from, since it comes in from this side of the room to go to that side of the room. I don't think, um, you know, and well, you'd have to check and see how much cable there is. And then, yeah. So we'll see. But anyway, but you um, said you didn't want your head on that wall. That wall. No. I never want to sleep with my head towards that wall again. Because my head is fa uh, facing south. S when your head's facing south on the bed, it does not promote uh, promote well be uh, well being and healing. But you also said you didn't want it on that one because that's the outside brick wall. I can deal with it. Oh. <sighs> so it's already up to. Uh, Almost got a frog in my throat. Anyway. It's up to 107 minutes. Or 107 minutes. Oh my god. An hour and seven minutes. So. Long pillow talk. Most, mostly us ranting about shit, but. Okay, so, mostly me ranting, but. Hey. <laughs> so. I'm going to close it off. Um, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. Links below. Um, again, join Pinch Me. Sample Tuesdays tomorrow. Um, I'll put a link in the description for you. And... After that, do with it what you will. Sample Tuesdays tomorrow, so you get a chance every month at a lot of samples. Go join. Now, it's free. Sample Tuesday is free. Get a lot. Um, I'm hoping to do an Ipsy unboxing very soon, if my Ipsy shows up today. Uh, also... Again, let me know if I should do Birchbox or BeautyCon. Or if there's or Sephora Play. Please, if you suggest Sephora Play, don't expect me to look at it too well because I've heard bad things about Sephora Play. Um... Also expecting to do nerd block soon as soon as we can get Dougie's subscription up and going. We might go the sci-fi route on that one because we're both sci-fi nuts. Who knows? We might get a couple Doctor Who, uh, Doctor Who uh, Sonic screwdrivers. We've got Matt Smiths and Tom Bakers. We need. David Tennant's, you know, if you're a Who fan, you know who Sonic Screwdrivers we need. Matt Smith's and Tom Baker's, I love Tom Baker, I was happy to get the Tom Baker one, I want all of them. <laughs> you know what, Here, here's something, um, you've got Nerd Blocks and you've got Loot Crate. Yeah. Um, 
tell me what g give us an opinion you know which one you think is a little bit better loot crate or nerd block and you know what i'm gonna say this personally i don't know you know i look at each one of them but you know um, i haven't looked at loot crate you know i've looked at both of them but anyway i'm gonna ask this there's other youtubers out there um maybe you can give me your opinion you know no offense, McJugger Nuggets. I used to follow you. I don't do it anymore. But hey, McJugger Nuggets, uh, Markiplier, um, Jacksepticeye. Yeah. All, all you guys, come on. Pickle Boy. Get behind the camera. Pickle Boy. Let me tell you, dude. I know you do Loot Crate and uh, Nerd Black. But you know, let me know. You know, just an honest opinion of what you, which one you think might be better. Um, you know, hey, okay? Uh, and we will leave it at that. Love you to the minute back. See you soon. Bye, guys.